This is how long coronavirus survives on cardboard, plastic and steel and airborne, according to the studies of CDC, UCLA and Princeton. COVID-19 is most similar to the SARS virus, but that doesn't explain why it has become a much larger outbreak, the New England Journal of Medicine study concluded. The New England Journal of Medicine study suggests that people may acquire the virus through the air and after touching contaminated objects, COVID-19, the disease caused by the new coronavirus, is stable for several hours to days in aerosols and on surfaces, including plastic and stainless steel, according to a study published this week in the peer-reviewed New England Journal of Medicine. The study was co-authored by scientists at the National Institutes of Health, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, UCLA and Princeton University. It was made available in print form on Monday, and aims to provide more clarity on the virus's contagiousness. The scientists found that SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, was detectable in the air for up to 3 hours, up to 4 hours on copper, up to 24 hours on cardboard, and up to 2 to 3 days on plastic and stainless steel. The results of the study provide additional insight into the stability of the new SARS-CoV-2, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, and suggest that people may acquire the virus through the air and after touching contaminated objects, according to the authors. How long the virus remains stable, the term used by the researchers, would likely depend on the humidity and temperature of the room, and other variables including air conditioning, open windows and the general air quality, experts say, and advise using such results as a guide. Dispatches from the front lines of a pandemic, they've likened it to a war where the number of casualties just keep on coming, Italians find solidarity, resilience and music during the coronavirus lockdown. SARS-CoV-1, the disease that infected more than 8,000 people in China in 2002-2003, is the human coronavirus most closely related to the latest outbreak. It behaved most similarly, which unfortunately fails to explain why COVID-19 has become a much larger outbreak, the author said. One theory, emerging evidence suggests that people infected with COVID-19 might be spreading the virus without recognizing, or prior to recognizing, the symptoms. This would make disease control measures that were effective against SARS-CoV-1 less effective against its successor, dispatches from the front lines of a pandemic, the lack of an all-island response has also rattled communities on both sides of the Irish border, pubs close due to coronavirus, government issues new strict rules for funerals dispatches from the front lines of a pandemic, there is barely time to absorb the implications of each new development, coronavirus cases rise in Switzerland, residents keep wary eye on Italy's worsening situation situation next door in contrast to SARS-CoV-1, most secondary cases of the latest coronavirus transmission appear to be occurring in community settings rather than in healthcare settings, the authors wrote. However, the latter are also vulnerable to the introduction and spread of COVID-19. They recommend, avoiding close contact with people who are sick. Avoiding touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Staying home when you are sick covering your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throwing the tissue in the trash. Cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched objects and surfaces with a cleaning spray or wipe. As of Sunday evening, there were 335,997 confirmed cases and 14,641 deaths worldwide, according to data from the database of Johns Hopkins University's Center for Systems Science and Engineering. The database also reported 98,333 recoveries. The U.S. has had at least 33,276 confirmed coronavirus cases and 417 deaths, John Hopkins added. The best way to prevent and slow down transmission is be well informed about the COVID-19 virus, the disease it causes and how it spreads. Protect yourself and others from infection by washing your hands or using an alcohol-based rub frequently and not touching your face.